wanted to show connecting the hand and arm. Um, I might start by, maybe I'll delete history off this, Alt-Shift-D, and I might um, take this edge here and uh, B for soft select, and then just kind of spread this out a little bit, maybe. Actually, maybe I'll circularize it first. Um, hmm, I guess that doesn't work for... Soft select doesn't uh, recognize that. Um, maybe what I'll do then is uh, delete a couple edge rows. Oh, wait a minute. What's going on here? Seems like there's sort of two hands on top of each other here. Okay, that's why that looked weird. All right, so um, just turning B for soft select, turn off soft select. I'm going to delete those. Out. Ooh, I don't like that. Hmm, that was weird. Okay, it's probably. Mm. Maybe just this edge row. And that. Okay. And then I'll circularize this and scale that. And then And maybe extrude W for move, and then... Okay. And uh, let's widen this. Well, I'm trying to get these a little closer to each other, you know, as far as size and so forth. Oops, that's... Maybe that could be wider, too. All right, so just wanted to get the shape a little bit better. Um, well, maybe this whole hand could turn. Let me just look at this from the top view. I'm going to center pivot, modify, center pivot. That's the center. Okay, oops, I have uh, discrete rotate on. I hold down E, left mouse click to get this marking menu, and then turn off discrete rotate. Okay. Let's just look at that from the front. See if we're pretty lined up. I might take these guys here and scale this way to make them flat in this direction, and same with these guys here. Okay. And let's get this lined up a little bit better. Maybe that can move back a bit. This as well. Go on up a little bit. Probably should have used slide edge there. All right. I mean, you can adjust the shape afterwards as well, obviously. Um, okay. So now the problem is, um, if I select these, I can do display, heads up display, poly count. And I can see, well, it says 24 edges. Is that because I have symmetry on? Oh, I've had symmetry on this whole time. Which, so really it's, it's 12. And then um, this one is 24. So we've got our work cut out for us to, uh, to do this. Um, so uh, we need to um, reduce. So I have this, um, method I'll show you, and we're going to repeat it a lot of times, probably 12 times. And uh, so it involves the multi-cut too. So control shift X is the multi-cut, or mesh tools multi-cut. And, uh, oh, it needs to be in object mode, control shift X. Okay, so I will start here and Go to here. Is that not right? Now I'm trying to remember. Is it like this? I think it's like this. 
So I do that, and then I do, you know what, I'm doing this wrong. Sorry, I think what we want to do is, oh, it's like this, sorry, okay. So yeah, you cross over one, and then to the next one, and here. And see how those diagonal lines form sort of two sides of the letter A? And then I'm going to kind of cross the A. Just make sure they turn red before you click on them. And um, I like to imagine um, that uh, these sides look like a little house. You know, like a child's drawing of a house. And then shift, right, mouse click, delete edge. And um, what you have is you have an edge loop now that loops back on itself. See that? Boop. Um, and you have less edges here. So let's repeat that several times. So start here to there, enter, and here to here, enter, and then cross the A, and then select the edges that form the little house shape, and then shift right mouse click delete edge. Okay, and again, um, from here to here, remember it crosses over one, here to there. Just make sure those points are turning red. And then cross the A. And then select the little house. Right mouse click edge. One, two, three, four. And shift right mouse click delete edge. And just keep doing this all the way around. Here and cross over one to there. Here, cross over one to here. Cross the A, making sure the dots turn red every time. So, because you can put an edge, any you can put a point anywhere on the edge. So, you see, it's until that you get that red dot, um, and then select the little house shape. Shift right mouse click, delete edge. Okay, and you can you know start from the bottom too. It doesn't matter as long as you're crossing over an edge there. And actually, I can go. I don't have to hit enter after the first one. I can hit enter after the second one if I do it like that. And then cross the A, select a little house. Whoops, I'm not in select. Oh, what happened here? Let's select that shift right mouse click delete vertex and then let's put that edge back in. Okay, and then select the little house and then shift right mouse click delete edge. Okay. Control shift X. Enter. Cross the A. Right mouse click edge. Select the little house. Shift right mouse click delete edge. Now we have 12. Yay. Okay, so now I'll select this. Shift select that. Um, mesh combine and select these edges. Oh, they're already selected, how convenient. Let's make sure nothing else is selected though, okay. And shift right mouse click bridge. And there you have a seamlessly connected hand to the arm. Um, there's other stuff you should fix on your hand. It got real crunchy in here. Um, I've heard that I like to use the uh, surfaces Sculpt Geometry Tool Options, and just turn off Reflection in this case. Make sure it's on Smooth. I can adjust the brush size by holding down V, click and drag, and I'll just drag that. And you might lose some of the shape, um, which I did, um, but it'll kind of untangle that stuff. And then after it's untangled, you know, may you can get in there and... Uh, don't want that much, but I need B for soft select, and I'm going to kind of move this up and out, you know. Anyway, you can get in there and work on the shape some more, but it got a little tangled up, um, so you want to untangle that. Yeah, I think in general the hand's looking kind of thin. You could thicken that out a whole bunch. Like here I might shift period, which is a greater than symbol, to grow selection, maybe like that, and well, maybe one less, and then we'll use the soft select to affect those areas a little less. And then I like to use the move it in the normal direction. So if I do uh, W left mouse click axis normal, that's the same as changing this to normal, same thing. And then click and drag on the end, and you see it, 
kind of fattens it out. It's a little different than just moving it in one direction. It sort of move, it moves in a direction perpendicular to the surface at that point. Um, anyway, so that's not great. It kind of goes a little looks a little tumor-ish, but you know, continue to work on the face. You know, push and pull points until you get it. It's just looking very thin and flat. Uh, yeah. So, but the main point was connecting the hand to the arm seamlessly.